It's got weird. <laughs> My air system requires a drastic upgrade. I've had this thing for a while. Now, don't wrong. The compressor itself is good, being a 30 gallon, 150 psi Craftsman. It works actually really, really well. But the other problems I have are first off, this Craftsman hose reel that is absolutely terrible. Never buy one that's enclosed. This thing is junk. There's a reason why I never even mounted this to the wall because it sucks that bad. Generally, you pull this out, you know, you get a few feet out, you know, you gotta get to your, around your car or whatever, and you gotta get it to go back. And it's jammed, 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 jammed. Getting this hose to go back in, forget it, is just impossible. It drives me crazy, so. We're gonna upgrade it to a central pneumatic 50 foot open hose reel that will be mounting to the wall. And upgrade number two, let me take you guys for a little ride here. My air compressor sits on the pallet. I have no idea why this thing sits on the pallet, but it takes up way too much space for my garage. Being a, this is only a two car garage with a little extra space. Every inch counts, that's gotta go. So I had a brilliant idea on what to do with it. We're gonna put it on wheels. This is either gonna be brilliant or a terrible idea. So me with the big brain, yeah, not, not so much. Didn't plan this as good as I thought. It doesn't It's the moment of truth. See if this is a good idea or not. How easy it moves. Oh, 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 I am a genius. It's like I'm dancing. This got weird. All right. Ability plus. See how much space I see. Check it out. Look at this. Look at that gap. Let me put my fan back here. It was jammed up against before. Look at the room I have. Oh. We can move the toolbox further down. That is a win. That is a huge freaking win. Now on to part two. Now this, if you've never been to Harbor Freight, is your Central Pneumatic, which is kind of their proprietary brand. It's a 3 8 hose, 50 foot, quarter inch MPT fittings, pretty standard stuff for a, your home garage. I mean, you can get a little bit thicker, but I don't see the need in that because I'm not filling up like semi tires or anything like that. I don't need that much air to move that fast, so. Just airing up tires on the cars or possibly using some die grinders or some of my basic air tools. This is gonna work just fine. I chose 50 feet because the 25 footer barely got me anywhere on anything. With the 50 footer, I can reach a good ways. Plus, you seen earlier, I have another hose that I can attach to this to get, which is a 50 footer, which will get me to 100 feet. This thing is heavy. 
holy crap. So be forewarned, when you go to mount this on to something, make sure it is sturdy. You're not just gonna put this sucker in the drywall, it better be concrete, you better find the stud uh, to mount this onto or mount it to the floor or such, because this thing weighs a ton. Every bit of, God, it's gotta be every bit of 50 pounds uh, all together. Now, what I like about this one is, I can actually take this arm and pluck it so I can adjust it to a specific angle so that way when I mount it to my wall, I can have the hose coming down bottom to top or such. It comes with no mounting hardware of any sorts, no bolts, no expansions, nothing. Now I get it, they can't plan for everything, but there's plenty of other things that we buy today that come with some variation of mounting hardware for everything. And this came with nothing. It's like, yep, I got a hose, around the hose. Harbor Freight, such a pneumatic. Mounting hardware, I mean, come on. Really? Installation is actually pretty easy. First, we're going to make a template with a piece of paper and a pen, just so we have a nice template to go by for a back plate. Cut it out, tape it to the wall, cut out the holes so we can mark them, drill four holes, insert our inserts, tighten them down so they lock in place, undo the hardware, take our whole assembly, put it on the wall, reinstall the hardware, and then final step of tightening them down. I am super stoked with this project completion. This works out so much better. It looks cleaner, it's nicer. This works way, way better than what I used to have up here. This hose drill is tons better, 50 foot long, hose quality. Biggest problems I have with it is it came with no fittings whatsoever, which is kind of standard. And then I had to make this hose to go to my compressor. Now I get a lot of shops will probably hardline this thing in place, but most of us from like Harbor Freight side are probably going to be doing something like this guy into that. So you're going to have to make a hose or buy a dedicated hose to go from one to the other. Luckily I had some spare stuff floating around the garage that I was able to make shift a hose in there. It's about a 10 foot hose, so it'll do for now. But the extra space I gained by putting this compressor on wheels and shifting it over makes so much of a difference. Uh, it does not stick out as far. I now have room for my fan here that I can pull in and out when I'm working on the bench. Plus also allows me an option to shift this workbench down a little bit if I need to for some of the future upgrades or maybe for like if I need to shift a little bit to get a car door open and things like that. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, peace.